Hey guys, how you doing? This is Asamo here, and I got Paul. What's up, Paul? Brother, how you doing today? All right, brother. All right. Today is uh, Thursday, the 31st, uh, 2012, uh, May. And mm. uh, we got some stories happening. But before that, what you got, Paul? I got something last night, and it was around 11 or 12 o'clock at midnight. And uh, it caught my eye. It was kind of like in the corner. It was nowhere to be for people to really see. And it's breaking news this morning. It has to do with uh, Planned Parenthood and abortion. And what we're about to show you is a flick that uh, they're killing off babies, uh, preferably uh, girl babies, in, in, instead of the boy babies. And well, you'll see what I'm talking about. So just check it out. And let us know what you feel about this because we want to hear your input. But me and my brother will, will probably talk a little bit about that, but we more so want to hear what you guys have to say. So here it is. Okay. Over 100 million girls are missing today. These girls were victims of female gendercide, the targeting of females for extermination through infanticide, and most often the avoiding of pre-born girls just because they are girls. The Economist reports, the destruction is worse in China, but has spread far beyond. Even sections of America's population have distorted sex ratios. Gendercide exists on almost every continent. If experts are right and gendercide is taking place in our own backyard, what is being done to protect our girls from the most brutal form of discrimination, violent sex-selective abortion. In April 2012, Live Action investigated abortion clinics nationwide to discover what would happen when the clinic receives a blatant request for a sex-selective abortion of a baby girl. In the footage you are about to see, Live Action went undercover at Planned Parenthood in Austin, Texas. And so, what are you leaning more towards? I see that you say that you want to terminate it with the girls, or you just wanted to continue the pregnancy um, in the meantime, or what? Yeah, I think that would be the um, the plan. The the uh, abortion covers you up until twenty three weeks. Okay. So it's a little over five months. Little. Okay. And usually at five months is usually when they detect, you know, whether or not it's a boy or a girl. I see. So you would be like right. Right. Sometimes there. it can tell four. I mean, I've seen that happen, but it just depends. Depends. Mm -hmm. Who do you think I should go and just? ask for an ultrasound and just not tell them that I'm going to terminate if it's a girl. I just feel like there's been some judgment for my... Um, I mean, to be honest with you, um, I would probably think so just because, I, I mean, we've had even uh, clinicians, I mean, regular doctors that actually have even told women, you know, you can't go and terminate after your 16 weeks, you know, which is not true, but, um, you know, they... A lot of doctors, you know, they'll place judgment because of the fact that the brain is already developed. Every a lot, you know, a lot, pretty much everything's already developed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The brain is already developed. Every a lot, you know, a lot, pretty much everything's already developed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then for you to go and terminate, you know, so, you know, usually we tell them, you know, you don't actually have to say what you're going to go do. I have actually applied for Medicaid, got on Medicaid as if I was going to continue my pregnancy, went through the OBGYN, and then me and my husband decided we're going to go ahead and terminate, we terminated, and I still stayed on Medicaid um, and just got on birth control. Right after I got on birth control, I okay. just stopped using it. Right. I didn't want it anymore. I didn't use it anymore. Mm -hmm. so, um, so that I could... Um, 
then we could probably, you're, you're thinking like if we did that, we could probably get pregnant again soon after. Oh yeah, that. I've had two abortions and I have four kids. Okay, so, <laughs> All right. so, so I mean, okay. again, yeah. from experience, yeah. I'm okay. there's nothing wrong with being pregnant immediately. Okay, right <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> Do you, do you, so these these providers would be more at least more open to mm -hmm. me terminating. Um, but do you think I still sh just shouldn't worry about telling them that I'm that I would be terminating if it's a girl? I'll just kind of right. just keep it quiet and then come here. Yeah, I, I would. I would probably because more than likely they could even. I mean, they could even refuse to. I continue to see you if you're just going to terminate. Yeah, gotcha. I mean, yeah. Um, I see. This is what you could take. Are you wanting to possibly get on med pregnancy Medicaid to see if you can get like a? Yeah, I would, I'd like to try that. Um, oh. I'm gonna give you this too as well. This is what right. you would take to the Medicaid office. This is basically just proof of pregnancy. Oh, good. Thank you. So then I'd want to schedule, um, try to schedule an ultrasound with an OB around then, and then I would still be able to come back here mm -hmm. for a termination if it was a girl. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. And, and again, you know, if you go and see an OBGYN, um, you know, pretty soon, and you do an, uh, an ultrasound to see exactly how far along you are, Okay. then you can really detect, okay, this is how far along I am, this is how, this is when I need to, need to. you know. Yeah. This is when I need, uh, when I'll know whether or not it's a good girl. Gotcha. Okay. So again, you will be like 20 weeks. That's five months. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. That is really helpful. Thank you for understanding. You're I, welcome. I was worried that I would get I'm, judgment for terminating oh, no. the gender and you've been so. <laughs> no. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, help you as much as possible. <laughs> so thank you. You know, you, uh, um, some things you probably can't be too open because there are people out there that will face judgment, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then whenever it does happen, it's like you can tell them one thing, but then they might even just think another. another but that's... what matters is that, you know, you have your family. <laughs> yes, my boy and my girl. Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right, exactly. So just continue and try again. So just continue and try again. <laughs> okay. All right. So I will call you back, and um, I mean, obviously, if it's a girl, I'll call you back. And right. If not, then... And I'll give you. A, let me give you our card too. Thank just you. So you can have. Um, actually, I forgot the numbers right here. Oh, okay. That you call. Great. Okay. All right. Well, good luck. Thank and, you. And I hope that you do get your boy. Thank and, you. And I hope that you do get your boy. Thank and, you. And I hope that you do get your boy. To learn more about what you can do to protect our girls, join us at protectourgirls.com. Wow, that's pretty heavy, brother. That's pretty heavy. It's like like heavy metal, dude. You know what's <laughs> kind of ironic, brother, is that you have good people out there that uh, depend on Medicaid or what have you for regular I mean, for things that uh, maybe they're dying or maybe they need medicine and stuff, and they're they're the ones that get hurt by this. And you know, we sh or I show this video not to hurt those people out. That's right. Is wrong, but that's just my point of view, how I feel. But I, I, I'm concerned about those people that do receive Medicaid and that aren't, aren't doing anything bad, and they really do need Medicaid, and now they're hurt by this, by by this happening. And you have uh, the politicians and other leaders looking at this and say, "Oh well, let's cut the funding now," mm. and they cut the funding for those people that really, really do need it. So, that's what kind of is ironic to me because I just look at it and I go, that's not fair. You know, if people that really do need it, I mean, I think they should be given that. But if, you know, if you have things like this, then maybe you have people saying, well, I don't want to give it, give to, to, you know, to this helping out the cause for the people that need it. Right. It's kind of mixed. I'm kind of mixed on this because I know it's wrong. I definitely know it's wrong. But I feel for those people that really do need Medicaid. Right. Well, you know, one thing for sure, um, 
um, you know, those those who are Christians on that, um, what what does the Bible feel about that? I mean, the whole thing is like you're kind of like um, playing playing to be God, basically. You know, because you don't you don't want a girl, and you know the, that video she was talking about, like uh, <clears throat> wanting a, a boy instead of a girl, kind of thing. You know. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's just basically playing God to me. That's, that's what it sounds like to me in this, you know, um, this whole thing. And, you know, it's, you know, you're kind of, you're playing with, uh, life basically, you know? And, um, yeah. you know, brother, I know, uh, you know, we pray for America and all this stuff, but then one thing that, that we, we have against us you know, on what the word says, you know, I mean, um, I got some scriptures here, brother, right here, right, where it says in Jeremiah, I mean, this is not my words here, but this is what scripture says, you know, it says in Jeremiah, for example, Jeremiah 1, 4, 5, it says, then the word of the Lord came to me before I was formed in you and your womb. I knew yeah. you were before you were born and I sanctified you and ordered you as a prophet of the nations. So, so the Lord knows you before you were even born in your womb. That's what the scripture says. And then he says in Job, it says, What then shall I say when God arises up, when he punishes, and how I shall answer him? He said, Do not him who made me in the womb make them do not the same fashion of the womb. And it says, For you have uh, informed my inner parts, and you have covered me, in my mother's womb, and I will praise you and fear you wonderfully, that I would know you. And then, uh, you know, uh, Luke 1, uh, 15, it says, Fill your Holy Spirit even from your mother's womb. So, I mean, uh, Scripture says a lot about that, but these weren't the, the Scriptures I'm looking for. But you know what, um, brother, and this whole thing is, is um, you know, it's... it's uh, it's basically, it comes down as murder because look how um, the Bible talks about Cain and Abel. Remember when um, um, it says that Cain killed Abel because he was jealous of his works and then the, his blood came up and, um, you know, <clears throat> it talked about that, you know, how important it was and stuff like that. So we've got so many aborted things, but then yet... You know, we can go on with these topics and saying that, well, you know, um, you know, this, um, the baby is going to kill my wife or, or my mom, you know, kind of thing, you know, because of, uh, defects or something like that. Or, but this, this, in this case, in this video, it's more like, because, you know, they don't like to have a girl, you know, we want to change it into a boy, you know, and that's, uh, kind of like cloning or it's, it, it's almost like not cloning, but but you know what I'm saying it's basically playing God, and uh, I don't know. Um, as you Christians out there, you know, I mean, you should know what the Scripture says on that. But, but it, I think it just brings judgment, doesn't it? it sounds like me, it does. Yeah, and I don't hate to hate to be religious on that, but uh, uh, maybe well, that's... it seems like it seems like from the beginning of time that in the not sure if this is true. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. uh, Egypt and, and there, they, they, where they are in, the, in the Middle East that they uh, value. Uh, I know in Iran, from a sister that I know, they value boys more than they do girls. Mm. And so they always use the man as that, you know, uh, the head of, the, you know, they're more important than women. And, and, and I know that's been going through generations and generations from different, you know, different, uh, types of, uh, uh, groups. And, uh, I know this is happening like probably in America too. The same, well, yeah, it's happening. We've seen it today, but it's always like it's the male is more important. And I know in scripture, the male was very important, but the Lord didn't say nothing to strike down the woman. Hmm. He just to say, you know, this is, he's, in fact, he says, he said, uh, the Lord says when, you know, he talks about marriage, Paul talks about marriage, and the Lord told, uh, told him to say this, and then, right. Uh, 
women just as much as Jesus values the church. And that was pretty strong. That was pretty evident with the way that God had planned things. I mean, he put man there. Sure, man is the head of the household, but not to be the kind of person where he uh, uh, overcomes the wife and makes her a slave or this kind of thing. I don't believe the Lord intended that to be. And I, this is just a good case in point that through generations and generations, we see this happening today that we prefer a man child over a woman child. And that, that's, that's, I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's right. I mean, whatever God gives you, that's what you take care of and you nurture it and you love it and, and just because if it were a male or not, they're not a female. You know, every male or not male or female or female, whatever God put in front of you, you take care of that the best way you can. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to bring that up. Uh, hopefully it didn't keep you guys too long, but, uh, I just thought you might be interested. I know that's you are hot off the wire right now, and uh, or work last night, so we try to get to you as quick as possible. But give me thoughts. Tell us what you guys think about it. We've told you what we think and what the Bible says, but what do you say? What is what's on your heart? What's the Lord put on your heart? What do you think about it? Hmm. So on that word, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you.